Okay, so today we're doing a, a little virtual tour um, of a baseball stadium. Uh, this is provided by Skyway Interactive. And okay, let's just jump in, start the tour. So this is PK Park, which is home of the Eugene Emeralds and the Oregon Ducks. Beautiful valley location. A nice pond. Let's get that out. Let's get a bit of a bigger view. Some lovely, lovely greenery here. It's like a beautiful, beautiful area. A beautiful warm, maybe July's day. Look. That water, I believe. Uh, as a tributary for the uh, Williamette River, just south along here. And that is the football stadium, which I believe is called the Autumn. Right, this park was opened in 2009. Let's go into the outfield here. I was... Oh, infield is the next part of the tour. We'll just follow it. Let's keep it nice and clean. So the park was opened in 2009. PK Park, it gets its name uh, from Pat Kilkenny. He's a former uh, Oregon athletic director. Makes sense. It has a capacity for 4,000 people. It's a beautiful little stadium. You can imagine there will be food amenities here. Yeah. Okay. So we're in the infield now. Let's have a quick look at the outfield. And it looks like a fantastic campus in general. In a lovely part of the world. Could you imagine watching games here in a a nice warm evening. A couple of beers, responsibly, of course. Beautiful stuff. Now, next up, uh, the stadium seating. Yeah, you can really see it here. Here's one of the uh, confectionery car. Is that Cars Juniors? That says. They sell burgers, so I'm sure you can probably get a beer or two there. Have a nice burger, watch a good ball game. That sounds like heaven right now, especially as this winter perpetuates where I am. Wow. Okay. And we go into the indoor part of the stadium, the locker room. Fantastic. Most movie location quality. And the repetitiveness of the stools upset uh, with the team logo and the, the green and yellow. It's uh, dreamlike. We got some music on here. Let's have a, see if we can see if there's any clues to what they're listening to. No, nothing there. Okay. And the team room. This is where they see the board here kind of implies this is where you'd they'd be uh, going over plays and team talks and on roster selection, all that good stuff. Uh, we kitchen a area. I presume these are names of either sponsors or famous players or athletes attached to the the university. Fantastic facility. It's 12 or 5 according to that clock. Well, when this picture was taken. And we'll have a look at the training field facilities next. Once again, just exceptional. I do love the logo for this, this team. Look at that. 
lots of work going on around. You can see this is progressive part of this university's history. All things are going forward for them. Now, and so the final part of this tour, the batting cages. Exactly as it says on the turn. I presume with these being indoors. Makes sense. Uh, especially with the climate of, from what I understand. About this part of the world. Quite wet. Once again, just fantastic facilities. Be very happy if you were an athlete here, obviously. Okay, so that concludes the tour. We'll just come back out to the aerial view. So, what to learn? I'm not sure there's a, there's a whole lot to learn more of a nostalgic trip thinking about the days of uh, watching sports in stadiums. It's been a at least a year, well, a year and a half for me. COVID kind of hit around the March period. It was the previous summer before any sports outdoors, so it's nearly two years. And you get fond memories of summer and whatever your sport was, wherever you were growing up, whether it was soccer, which was predominantly my sport growing up, Baseball, football. You can attach. You can almost smell the warm grass. Those long days, the pleasantness of then, as coupled with an adult watching these games. Yeah, it's fantastic stuff. I think that is another confectionery bus there. They probably sell some nice tacos and stuff. Yeah, there's there's an area here you can see that probably serves food and such. That's awesome. Okay, we'll conclude the video here. As always, be a good sport, be a sportsman.